Welcome back, this is Than from TitleGardens.com and today we're going to be looking at some mushrooms. Mushrooms are not the most popular corals right now, but I think they're very underrated. First of all, they come in a wide variety of different colors. If there's a particular color you're looking for, there's a really good chance that there is a mushroom with that coloration. Second, they're very easy to take care of. In fact, they're pretty much indestructible. If you're losing mushrooms in your tank, something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. The vast majority of coralomorphs share the same basic body type, and that's kind of why they're all lumped together as mushrooms. They look like little mushrooms. But there's kind of a black sheep in the group that is basically off the map when it comes to what it looks like and how it behaves. I'll show you that in just a second. And here we have it. This is the Pseudocoronectus, or the commonly referred to orange ball anemone, even though it's a coralomorph, not an anemone. What immediately caught my attention about the Pseudocoronectus is just how effective it is as a predator. You can see here I'm feeding it a silver side, which is a small fish about the size of a damsel, and it just won't let go. You can pretty much lift it out of the aquarium, that's how sticky these things are. So if you have small fish, snails, or other inverts that get stuck in one of these guys, um, it's toast. It's not going to make it. And they're basically able to eat anything that'll fit in its mouth. And you can kind of see here, in this time lapse, it can fit a lot in its mouth, in fact. This, this little silver side is almost the, the, the width of the entire coralomorph, and it's going to be gone in less than 10 minutes. And there it is, 10 minutes, and the fish is completely consumed. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, uh, don't forget about these coralomorphs. They're really, really interesting.